Hi, this is Sarah from Vampire and the Paranormal Things Queen, and I'm filming two videos in one day because I have just, yeah, I have my July book haul, and I'm unboxing one book, and I'm so excited to do this. So, I had, like, a really weird surprise at the beginning of July. If you have seen my June book haul video, you will know that I went out and I bought the entire Grisha trilogy. Well, I got a message from Cuddlebuggery telling me that I had won the whole entire trilogy. And I was just like, man, if I only would have waited one more week, I wouldn't have went out and bought the trilogy. But, good news is, my cousin loves the trilogy, so I sent her the books. But, I also got this really cute surprise with the package that I'm keeping because, yeah, it's cute. It's Ruin and Rising nail polish. And look at it. It it matches. How cute is that? I even painted my nails that color already, but I had Color Guard Camp, and I'm on Weapon Line, so Saber and Rifle chips off my nails. But it's so adorable, and I just, I love it. Look at it. It's just so cute. Ah, oh, bookish things. I also went out and I bought two book-to-movie adaptations. I have not read either of these books, but I was like, well, now that I own the movies, I'm going to have to read these. I will read these because I want to watch them. I got The Spectacular now, and I'm so, I have really wanted to see this movie, and I have really wanted to read the book because I have heard so many good things about it on Goodreads, and I'm just... I'm really excited to read this one. Hopefully I'm going to download the ebook from my library or maybe I'll even go out and buy a copy. I don't know, but I have the movie so whenever I get to it, which hopefully soon, I got this. I also got a copy of Beautiful Creatures and I do own the book and it is somewhere in this massive pile towards the back. And I have not read it, but I have heard great things about Beautiful Creatures, but at the same time I've heard really bad things. So. I don't know. I'm excited for this, but also kind of on the fence. So we'll see where this one goes. Then, I had to clean out my room because, if you haven't noticed, my room is now purple. And I got two new bookshelves, so I've been cleaning out my closet, and I've just been cleaning out random areas that I didn't even know that I had in my room and that I forgot about. Oh my gosh, I gotta get this out so I can show you it because it's so gorgeous. Anyway, look, this is the wrapping, and it, it's a it's a Bible, but I just, I got this when I made my communion when I was, like, in second grade from my grandfather, and it means a lot to me, and I forgot that I owned it because he passed, and I, when I found stuff, when I find stuff like this that he gives me, it just means so much to me because losing him makes me appreciate everything that he did give me when he was alive, like, even cards. I keep all of his cards. But it has beautiful illustrations in it, and I will probably read this one day. I don't know. But it's so beautiful, and it's just, I love it. And I just, I don't talk about my religion on in line or anything, but I am Catholic. And I have lost my way with religion, but at the same time, I have regained it. And just finding this, it was, it meant a lot, because it came from somebody who I loved a lot when he was alive. And it just... I'm really grateful for this. I also found another book that he gave me, and it was Bible Stories for Children. And it also still has really good pictures, and there is a dead flower in here, and I don't know where it came from. I really don't. It's weird. I found it, and I don't even know where it came from. But, okay, these are really exciting. I have been looking for these forever. My mom bought these for me when I was, like, in third, fourth grade, and I love the Harry Potter <laughs> books and the movies, and this was like long before I had read them, but I found my Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets postcard collection, <laughs> and it has all my little postcards in it, and it's just so cool. <sighs> Look at it. Oh my god. I don't think I'm ever going to use these because I just love them too much. Like, look at them. It's the movies. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so excited about these. <laughs> I forgot I even own the postcard edition, but I was so excited when I found this one. <laughs> then I found the Prisoner of Escaban movie poster book, and it is... I haven't even opened it since I found it, but it has, like, 
I'm going to just show you the first page, and it's like, Aunt Morge's whole body began to rise off the chair toward the ceiling. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love these movies, and I, I'm, the books are even better, and I'm just, I love these. I'm not going to ever hang these on my wall, because, no. And then I found Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire movie behind the scenes poster book, and it has, I was like a hugely obsessed with this, like look. I used to be in love with Daniel Radcliffe once upon a time, and I would sit through and I'd read all the facts about all the characters, and I remember one time, I went to like a Chinese restaurant, and I just read this whole book there, and I want to reread it and just experience all this fabulousness, and oh look Draco, I love Draco, Draco's mine, like now that I'm older, I just love Draco even though he's a jerk, and I also found the Raven and Other Favorite Poems by Edgar Allan Poe, and I've read parts of it, like, I, I've already read The Raven because of school and stuff, but I want to read this because I enjoy Poe's work, and I just like, I just like it, and I bought this on a whim at a used bookshop, and I'm glad that I found this because I'm going to read this one again. Then I bought, <laughs> oh my gosh, I think this is really funny, but... I gave my mom money to go when she went to Walmart because they had this really beautiful copy of The Giver Quartet. She couldn't find it, so she bought me this copy of The Giver, and it's gorgeous. It is so gorgeous, and I know, and it has, like, interviews and stuff, so I'm probably going to read the bonus material in this. But we went back when we went to go and get our paint, and I found the copy of The Quartet. And it is just so gorgeous. It feels like this is velvet, but it's not. It's just, it's so beautiful. Look, the pages are red. They're red. Red. And look, look at how it looks on the inside. And it was only 20.83. That's so, oh my gosh, I could not say no. I had to buy this. And I, now I own two copies of The Giver, so I will probably maybe be giving this one away on my blog. But look, look for that, just, just look for that, because this, look, just look at this, look at it, it's so pretty, I love it, like, this is probably one of my favorite, um, bind up editions that I own, because it's just, oh my gosh, okay, on to the un unboxing, and it is from Random House. I'm not showing you my address, but I'm pretty sure Glenfield, Texas. What? I I don't even know. I don't live in Texas. Okay. Oh my gosh, is this? Oh, this isn't what I think. What is this? Oh, it's hardcover. I thought I was getting a paperback. Oh my god. Oh wow, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Um, it's Crave the Night by Laura Adrian, and I think this is the 12th book in the Midnight Breed series. I read the first Midnight Breed book when I was, I think, going to either 8th or 9th grade. I got it from the library, and I entered a giveaway on this for Goodreads, and I was kind of surprised to win this, because I'm not like, now I, I think I'm really going to enjoy reading this series, because this this looks pretty good. I like the cover, even though it's really cheesy. <laughs> but it's just pretty. I like it. I'm excited. So, yeah. Um, uh, I'm not going to, like, try to re-grab all these books because I have them, like, all spread out around me. But this has been my July book haul and my first unboxing thing. <laughs> and I'm so excited. And I'm just a mess. But thank you for watching and subscribe and there will be exciting new things coming to my YouTube channel as well as my blog. So please subscribe and check it out my blog as well. And thank you for watching. Bye.